In today's video, we are going to be looking at a couple of year one question that we think that could actually practice simulated exams as well as mock exams. So today we will discuss about finding the greatest number, finding the smallest number, recognizing number patterns, making subtraction and addition equation and counting as well. So in the first question, we've got fill in the blanks. So we've got a couple of blanks over here, and they have given us a couple of objects in here. We see two types of balls, all right? So the first type is a very kind of a football, and then another type is we've got the couple of tennis balls as well. So now we are supposed to be making two types of equations using these two kinds of balls. When you're working out with questions like this, you need to really observe on what they have given us in the middle over here, all right? So they've given us addition symbol as well as a subtraction symbol to represent that, this has to be an addition equation and this has to be a subtraction equation. So for this, we could simply count these balls and put the numbers in these blanks to see how much we actually get. So in here, when you count these balls, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have about 9 basketballs, right? And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we've got 6 tennis balls. So I'm going to put them separately because we've got two types of balls over here. So it is important for us to separate the two types and put them in two blanks. All right. So the next problem in this question is that we have to solve these questions, right? So now we know 9 adds 6, we would have 15 in there. Now in the next part of this equation over here, we need to prepare a subtraction question. All right. So to prepare a subtraction question, we are going to use the same numbers from here. So we could do 9, take away 6 as well, because we've got only two types of balls over here. So one is 9 balls and the other one is 6 balls. So when you take 9, take away 6, we would have 3 left. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and work out with the second question. So use three or four numbers from the box and make a subtraction equation. So that is the question we've got. So we've got four numbers already, we've got 12, 11, 7, and 4. All right. So we need to make use of four numbers and we need to make a subtraction equation. In this part, they have already given us the numbers. So there is no need for us to count how many objects that they've already given us the amount, the numbers that we need to use in there. All right. So over here, what we need to do is we need to make sure to use these numbers. Since we're supposed to be making a subtraction equation, I'm going to take two numbers. I'm going to take 11, take away 7. All right. Now they're telling us to use three numbers to make a subtraction equation. So we could take 11, take away 7, and then we could get the number 4. And now let's look at another question over here. So we've got a number pattern here. So it says fill in the missing numbers. So this looks like a number line. Alright, so we've got 11, some number, some number, and 14, 15. And we don't know what this is. And we've got 17. So when you closely look at this number pattern, we see that these are next to each other because we see 14 and 15 next to each other. So then we can easily identify that this is a number line and this is numbers that are next to each other. So we can just count on from number 11 to number 17. So let's go ahead and work out with the next question. Arrange the numbers, start with the smallest number. So they've already given us four numbers. We've got 9, 20, 11, and 1. Now out of this we realize the smallest number is number 1. So I'm going to start with the smallest number that is number 1. So for me to make sure that I don't write this number twice, I'm going to cross off that number. Okay? And now let's look at the other three numbers. Now out of these three numbers, I realize the smallest number is 9. So I'm going to put 9 in here and cross off 9 as well. And then let's look at the next number. And when I compare these two numbers, I realize 11 is the next another smallest number, and when I cross that off as well, I realize 20 is the final largest number out of the box and so on. 
The last number in this number pattern would be the largest number. So let's take a look at the next equation we have here. So in here we've got 4 add 13 is equal to what? That is the question they've asked us. Now we've got 4 ones. So 4 ones add 3 ones, we realize it's 7 ones. So I'm going to put 7 ones in here. We got 110 and we don't have any 10s here, so I'm just going to put the 110 over here. All right? And let's go ahead and look at the next question. 1 less than 16. So when they ask 1 less than 16, they're asking us about 16 take away 1 is 15, right? So let's take a look at the next question. So they're telling us, count the total number of apples in the first bag and the third bag. Now some people actually might get confused of which is the first bag. Are they talking about are they asking us to count from the left, or are they asking us to count from the right? But when you look closer into the question, we realize that we already got the fourth bag marked here. So that means the first bag is this one, and the third bag is this bag. So we've got three here, four, five, six. So we've got six apples totally in the first and the third bag. All right, now let's look at the next question. Now they're asking us to circle the shorter pencil. So when you measure this pencil, we can observe that this pencil starts from the same line and goes on towards the right. So that means this would be the shorter pencil, right? Now let's look at the next questions. Look at the numbers below. Now we've got 4, 9, 6, and 7. So they're asking us over here to find the biggest number. When I count up, I see that 9 is the biggest number. So that would be the biggest number. And we've got another question. Mary baked cookies. She sold 14 cookies and has 6 cookies. How many did she bake in total? So now Mary sold 14 and she has six cookies left over. So the total of these two cookies is the amount she baked. So when you add six ones, at four ones, we have ten ones. The ten ones regrouped into one ten, over here we've got two tens. So she baked twenty cookies in total. And that is how we actually work out with year one simulation questions and answers. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more conceptual videos.